business because right now in 2021, Amazon businesses are hot, okay, for buyers, all right? You know, the, the smart money is aware of that. So they're getting into this space. So, you know, companies like Thrasio and other Amazon acquirers, they're really snatching up e-commerce businesses right now. But it's it's not just as, so simple as listing my business and selling, okay? There's more nuance behind it, especially if you want to get a higher multiple, okay? So, you know, talking to probably like a dozen seven-figure sellers, you know, through the years that I've been doing this, I noticed some key things in best practices, ways that you can maximize your selling price. So I think this is super important. If you can just take one nugget from this, you might add an extra zero to your bottom line if you want to exit your business. And why do people want to sell it? Because this is probably the most valuable asset that you have right now. What are buyers looking for? I think that's the key question. So as of right now, in 2021, here are um, a couple of, I would say, a couple of key best practices okay number one buyers they want to see an established track record okay at least 12 months 24 months preferred okay they don't want to see just like you know like a one and done like a one hit one or just like spiking it for three months okay you got to have some track record okay uh, number two in terms of the sales volume they want to see at least a million dollar in annual sales okay at least a seven figure business that that's more attractive three to five million is preferred Okay, that might earn you um, higher multiple. I'm not saying that these are, you know, black and white. These are ways to boost your multiple or boost your selling price. Okay, sales diversification. Okay, um, it's less risk for the buyer. So what do I mean by sales diversification? Sales off of Amazon. It could be your Shopify site. It could be Walmart. It could be, you know, another platform. Okay, it could even be selling internationally. Okay, the key benchmark is they want to see 30% off of Amazon. That's less risky from the, the buyer's perspective. Okay, in addition, profit margins. Okay, they like to see healthy, solid profit margins, 30% or more. Okay, that's more attractive. That would earn you a higher multiple. That's why, you know, number six, knowing your numbers is so important. You know, every $10,000 you save, that could be worth like thirty dollars or $40,000 added to your exit. Think of it that way. That's why number six is so important. Okay, solid profit margins. The next one is having a real brand, okay? Not just, you know, like a hero product that's selling, generating the lion's share of yourselves and some minions going along with that, right? You gotta have a product portfolio. You know, these products complement each other. You know, think about, you know, Ben, Ben Leonard, you know, with his beast gear. So he literally had like a whole lineup of people and people work out, you know, he had like, you know, like the, the weight gloves, right? He started with, with the weight gloves and then you branched out, you know, maybe it was like the belt, maybe it was like the knee brace, you know, when you're doing deadlifts, right? These products complement each other. It's not just like a hero product and that's it, okay? Um, they also like to see a community of raving fans, okay? You know, something like an email list or like a following on social media. That really helps boost your multiple. And then in addition, I mean, they, they wanna see solid financials, right? A, a profit and loss statement. Um, you know, this is key. So again, know your numbers. And uh, last thing, the bottom line is profitability. Okay, that's gonna determine your selling price. So these are the key things what buyers are looking for. And you know, by doing these things right, this will help you maximize your selling price.